guys, I'm Ryan and welcome to Mad Acre Homestead. Today's video is going to be about vacationing while trying to run a homestead. I don't have much of a homestead now, but we have some big plans in the future. Right now on our property, we just have honeybees who are during the winter is taking care of themselves pretty much. Uh, six rabbits and two dogs. Uh, we're going to be going on a few day vacation uh, back to Iowa. Uh, for the holidays um, to visit some family. So what we're doing is boarding our dogs um, at a local border, but also uh, we have some awesome neighbors coming over to uh, help take care of our rabbits. Um, and one big thing I like to do is have doubles of everything. So I have a uh, set of neighbors who's gonna be coming over to feed the rabbits. If something so happened that they can't do it, I have a backup neighbor that's gonna also help out. Our neighbor's gonna have access to the house, so I have standard operation procedures posted out through the house for them and the areas that they're gonna be at. So just in case one set of standard operation procedures for the rabbits come up missing or our chart come up missing, um, they will be able to um, be able to find another set. Sound like my neighbor's already here. This is uh, Cody. I'm gonna let him in the garage here. I'll introduce you guys to Cody. How we doing, sir? Good, good, good. Is it okay I YouTube video you? Yes, it is. Thank you very much, it Cody. This is uh, Cody, guys, my awesome neighbor. He He's the one that did the very first video for the bees. Yep. Say hi, Cody. Um, hi, guys. To my nice to meet subscribers. you. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, um, I was playing to the guys, Cody, that I'm, we're going to be going on vacation, so you're going to be coming in and stuff in and taking care of the rabbits. Yep. I know they can't see the rabbits in the video, so I'm going to move it over here. One thing that I have done for my for people that's going to come over uh, is I set up some standard operation procedures. They're hanging up here. So it's gonna break down everything Cody needs to know about the rabbits. Um, just show the camera here real quick. I also have made a really neat nifty chart. So it tells him who's in what cage and how much food they should be fed. So if we would go here, like for instance, we have Emily who's in this cage right here. She gets a half hour, half cup of food and it is the half cup is the white cup. Here we have our food for Cody. We have two cups, a white cup and a blue cup. So when he comes in the morning, he can give, he knows who gets what, how much food. Also it tells him about the daily procedures of providing fresh food, fresh water, um, how much food, and as well as how much hay they should have on a daily basis. Um, the rabbits are pretty pretty uh, easy to handle, so only thing he would need to do is come in every day, give them food, fresh water, make sure their hay is topped off. I've, my son and I have cleaned all the cages. Uh, rabbits and just got groomed today. So we're gonna only, gonna be gone three days. So the main the main thing here is just feeding and watering the rabbits. Uh, Cody, what questions do you have for me, sir? Um, I just wanted to ask if there's you had mentioned that they get daily activity. So the daily activities are only during grooming. So we already groom oh, them. Okay. So so you'll be fine. Um, so we we groom them once a week and clean out the cages once a week. Okay. Um, so. They, they had all the exercise today. So Got it. Any special I, handling? Uh, do they need to be handled? Do they need to? Do not they... necessarily. Uh, they, I do pet them every morning. So yeah. usually Show they get a little TLC. Yeah, every morning. These, uh, these are Dutch rabbits, so they do like a lot of affection. Yeah. So every morning, usually when I come and get my food, give them food, I give them a, some little yeah. petting. A little pet. Yeah, and then, then they'll, I'll pour the food in and they'll, they'll go eat. Okay. Uh, this guy down here at the bottom, Caesar. He'll let you pet him when you're feeding him, but he does not like to be touched. So yeah. if he doesn't come up, don't, you don't have to worry about him. Got it. Um, all of them have toys inside their cages. If you see like, if you see someone in their, their cages empty with toys because they like to have activities, mm -hmm. I do have toys stored over here. Okay. So if you come over here, this is just my catch all. So I have two bags of toys. Yeah, I, was, uh, I like to double up, so just give them, if you see one toy, a toy distance, just toss a toy in there. 
Got to get a chew through it. Uh, those these operation procedures are going to be hanging hang here. Yep. But I also have set some inside the house if you want to go inside. Yep. I'll set right there for you on the bench. So exact same thing. Exact same and things. Yep. Exact chart. So pretty easy. Um, should be any problems. If you have any problems, you can always call me. But it's going to be pretty self same self-explanatory okay and you're a smart guy yeah and i've had i've had a rabbit before so okay yeah that i can do i appreciate it sir Anytime. all right guys that was just a quick video on what we're doing here on our homestead to take care of our animals when we're vacationing uh i was to drop some suggestions down there on what you guys are doing on your homestead and also let me know some different animals that we can have on our homestead as we grow um Hopefully, you guys are going to see a lot more of Cody in these videos. Yeah, hopefully so. I'm going to let him drop a quick spiel. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys see me in future videos. But uh, um, I'm just going to be taking care of these dudes for the next few days. Uh, and uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Drop a like. Subscribe. This man's channel is growing. I want to help him grow even more. And other than that, uh, that's it. Take it easy. <laughs> hey, I do. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course, man. Of course.